If you want to be a successful creator, someone who produces content that people enjoy watching, content that educates or entertains, content that is successful, then the first thing we can learn from Stephen Covey is about looking inside. If you want to create great content, then this starts with you and what's inside you. Covey argues that in the past, success was based around what he calls the character ethic. This included, amongst other things, integrity, patience, humility, modesty and courage. These things are inside things related to who you fundamentally are. Whereas today's success is based around what he calls the personality ethic, which is to do with public image, human and public relations, skills, techniques and manipulations, and things like positive mental attitudes. These things can be seen as outwards things. As an example, say we've got person A who says, I need to reply to every comment so I'll be seen as someone helpful and the algorithm will promote my content. This is based in the personality ethic. We want to be seen, the public image, as being helpful, a human manipulation technique and arguably an algorithm manipulation technique too. Contrast this with person B who says, I need to respond to as many comments as I can because I'm a person who helps as many people as I can. This is operating more out of the character ethic. It's foundation is based on what's inside, not on the desired end outcome as such. One quote I really like from Covey is, what we are communicates far more eloquently than anything we say or do. This doesn't mean that you don't still have goals or a vision, it just means that the foundation is different. It's operating from the character ethic, not the personality ethic. And the character ethic is more likely to bring a deeper and more long-term sense of fulfillment and happiness. The next thing we can learn from Steve Stephen Covey is about how or where to place our priorities and where the limited time we have is best spent. As an example, say you make YouTube videos and these are all the things you need to do related to that. Coming up with video ideas, writing video scripts or outlines, creating thumbnails, doing the actual filming, editing videos, responding to comments on published videos every time you get a notification, responding to comments for five minutes every day perhaps, seeing what people are commenting on on other related channels, responding to trolls or hateful comments, learning, for example, how to make better thumbnails or better editing, responding to Twitter X or Instagram notifications, watching excessive amounts of other people's YouTube videos to see what they're making, spending hours on finding the perfect YouTube tags, even though tags are maybe not very important now, responding to channel suspensions, hopefully not, or responding to copyright or community strikes. Some of these activities are more important than others. Covey gives us a great visualization tool to help us spend time where it matters most. It splits things up into two dimensions, important or not and urgent or not. We want to be spending as much time as possible on things that are important but not urgent. Let's plot those things I just mentioned onto these quadrants. You can go and make your own list and put them into the urgent not urgent and important not important quadrants and see how you're doing. If you find yourself spending most of your time in quadrant one, quadrant three and quadrant four, but not much in quadrant two, then you probably have a problem. You need to try and get more time for quadrant two. To do this, look at quadrant three and quadrant four first and try and minimize those activities so you can have more time for quadrant two activities. You can't normally get time back from quadrant one at the start because these are by their nature urgent and important. You just have to deal with them. It's like firefighting activities. Over time though, you should try and organize your content content creation so there's fewer and fewer genuine Q1 activities. I'll put a link to his book that describes this in more detail in the video description. In his book, Covey states that most people say their main fault that stops them from achieving their goals is not actually their inability to prioritize, but rather most people say that their main fault is a lack of discipline. And that's exactly what you'll learn about in this next video, exploring what we can learn from Jocko Willink. I'm Jason Roberts. This channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited video. Video, please subscribe, I'd appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.